In this video, I'm showing you how to connect a laptop to a monitor to go and get a second screen. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end to the full steps and everything you need to know. And let's go and get straight into this. So here is the current setup. As you can see, I've got a laptop and a monitor in front of it. And those are the two I want to go and connect um, and then be able to go and use both of them at the same time or from the laptop. And this is a really easy process. So the first thing we want to do is go and check the back of the monitor to go and identify which inputs the monitor has. So here we are on the back of the monitor. And I'm now just looking at the ports. It's quite hard to get my camera in here, but I can see which ports I have. I've got an HDMI port um, and a display port as well. So now we know the inputs of the monitor, but now we need to go and check the laptop to see what outputs we have. So I'm starting off by checking the right hand side of the laptop. It's really important to check both sides. They both will have outputs. And on this side, I've got an HDMI output. And I'm now checking the left hand side of the laptop and I have got a few more ports on this side. Um, I have actually got some Firewire outputs, which is specifically for MacBook, um, but I am doing this for Windows as well. Um, so now we need to go and decide which connection is going to work best for our monitor and laptop. So now we know the output of our laptop and the inputs of our monitor. But what I want to make really clear is, is that if you don't have a direct match, for example, HDMI to HDMI like I do, it does not matter at all because we can go and get adapters. On Amazon, there are literally adapters for everything. You can go from VGA to HDMI, USB to HDMI, USB to VGA. Every adapter you can imagine is going to work. And then all you need to do is get that adapter and a cable and it's going to link up really seamlessly. Luckily, in this case, I can do it all off an HDMI, but I have got some monitors where I have to use an adapter. And this is an example of an adapter I have. It's actually a Firewire to VGA. So as you can see, it then connects to the VGA cable just here. And then I've got the other end of the VGA cable, which I can go and plug into the monitor. It's a super easy process. So make sure you go and get the cables and adapters you need. But for now, I'm gonna go and connect my HDMI cable up as I just need one simple wire. But as I said before, adapters are not an issue at all. So there is the HDMI outputting for my laptop. And then there is the HDMI inputting into the monitor. And there we go, the laptop is now connected to the monitor. I'm about to go and cable manage it just to go and hide the cable a little bit. And now let's go and hop into the computer and go and fully configure it and make sure it's working correctly. So here we are on my computer. So I'm just showing you how to do this on Windows. It's really straightforward on Mac. So all you need to do is right click on your desktop anywhere. And then you're gonna go and get this drop down menu here. And you want to go and click on display settings. And then the settings is gonna go and load. And here we are on the display settings. So the first thing you can go and do is change um, and rearrange the displays. For example, I'd like mine below each other as I saw I had my laptop um, below my monitor, just like so. And then you go and have the option down here to either extend these displays, duplicate them or show only on one or show only on two. In this case, I want it to be extended and then make sure you go and hit apply to go and change it. And then you've got a few more settings down here, but to be honest, these are quite less important, um, but you can go and change the resolution depending on which monitor you have. As an example, this one's actually got a higher resolution. But there we go. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.